Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from A Day Tips. And in this video, I'm speaking about some of the best free tools that you can use to help to market your business online. You don't need to have a super big budget. Actually, you can start and grow your business to 10K plus a month if you have the right tools and if you're doing the right kinds of marketing. So I'm going to be breaking this video down into different sections. So we're going to be speaking about some SEO tools. We're going to be speaking about some email marketing tools. We are also going to be speaking about some landing page tools as well as tools that you can utilize to do free webinars online. So first and foremost, let's start off with search engine optimization. So for those of you who've seen my previous videos on SEO, you will know that search engine optimization is your ability to get your website ranked inside of Google. So when your ideal customers are typing things into Google, they will stumble across your website, your products and your services. And this can be a passive way for you to drive new traffic and visitors to your website online. And SEO doesn't always have to be expensive. You can start for free. And a really good tool that I like to use is one called the Google Keyword Planner tool. So with this tool, you can actually see how many searches a particular term is getting before you decide to spend a lot of time and effort trying to rank for that keyword. You want to try and ensure that you're actually ranking for keywords that have a decent search volume and this is one free tool that you can make use of to ensure that the keywords you're actually going for are keywords that your customers are actually even typing in. Another really great tool for SEO is Google Search Console. This allows for you to submit a map of your website directly to Google. So Google know that your website exists. This is really good for websites that are new. So if you've just published your website and you want to get your website ranked quickly, then go to Google Search Console, sign up for a free account. Make sure you use an email address that you check often because if Google encounters any issues with your website, they will email you and notify you. And when you sign up for a Google Search Console account, it will actually give you a to-do list of things that you need to do inside of Search Console to ensure that Google have the right information about your website and that your website is optimized correctly. And this is a great way to ensure that your website is SEO friendly. Now, another platform that I like to use for SEO is one called answerthepublic.com. This will give you free free searches per day using it. So it shows you when you type in a keyword, it will show you keywords that are relevant to the keyword you've typed in that people are actually asking the internet. And you can use these keywords to help you with your YouTube videos, with blog articles, or with topics that you might bring up on social media to start a discussion. So make sure you make use of that. It's a great tool for SEO. If you run a local business, it's also important for you to set up a free Google business profile account. So for example, if you were looking for a local restaurant, you might type in, let's say, steak restaurants near you, and Google will bring you a bunch of listings and what will be high up would be the Google business profile listings. And this will give you directions to the restaurants. You might see reviews uh, and you can also potentially also see a number as well that you could maybe phone and book a table. So if you have a local store as well or a restaurant or whatever it might be and people can find you locally, then you want to set up a Google business profile account and submit all of your information to Google so that your customers can find you locally as well. And as well as this, for those of you who sell physical products on your website, you can actually submit your products to Google product listings. And yes, Google product listing as you usually have to pay for, but there is a section of Google product listing where you can actually list your products absolutely free. Obviously you won't get as much traffic usually if you're paying for ads, but it's more exposure that your products can get. Now let's look at some email marketing tools. For those of you who follow me on social media, you will know that email marketing is the bread and butter to your online marketing. It allows you not only to get a customer once, but to retain that customer and make a lot more revenue referring similar products or upselling or cross-selling to your current customers. So my favorite email marketing softwares are Aweber and MailChimp for beginners. And the beauty of these two softwares as well is that they actually have a free account that you can set up. So for those of you who are just starting your business off and you don't have any leads yet, you don't have to worry about forking out money on your email marketing. You can use quite a lot of functionalities of Aweber and MailChimp before you have to even invest 
in the software itself. And when you start building your business and you start getting leads and you want to use more aspects of those two email marketing softwares, then of course you can. And that kind of leads me on to the next stage of this video where I wanted to speak about landing pages. So there's no point having an email marketing software if you don't have something that can get people to leave their name and email address. And usually that is a landing page. So your landing page is simply a page that people will land on so that they can take action in your business whether that be to buy a product or to leave their name and email address as a lead for your business. And there are free landing page softwares that you can make use of. Aweber and MailChimp, actually, when you sign up for them as an email marketing software, they give you the functionalities to build landing pages as well. So let's say, for example, you decided that you wanted to promote your business using Instagram and you wanted to leave a link in your Instagram bio for people to click and submit their name and email address and become part of your database. You can actually create these landing pages within Aweber and MailChimp for free and the name and email address are filled. When someone submits that, they will go straight into your Aweber or MailChimp account, whichever one you decide to choose. And you can decide if you want to set up automatic emails that these new leads get sent that maybe promote your products or your services or you can send broadcast emails to your list as well. So let's say you accumulate your first 300 people on your email list. You can broadcast whenever you have a new product or maybe it's you know a season coming up like Valentine's Day or Black Friday or whatever it might be. You might have a promotion on your website and you can send that to your email subscribers. And HubSpot actually have a free landing page builder as well. So you don't have to pay for the premium features of HubSpot, but if you just want a place to create landing pages that you can promote maybe using ads online or like I said, on social media or whatever it might be, then I would also recommend checking out the HubSpot landing pages. I think they are a little bit more well built. So if you wanna push the boat out a little bit, even on a shoestring budget, then HubSpot landing page builder might be the one for you. Now, webinars are an absolute gold mine when used correctly to promote in your products and services online. I will be doing a video soon on webinars and how you can utilize them to bring in revenue for your business. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss when those videos go live. However, there are a few webinar tools that you can use for free. Now, some of the webinar tools that I use are premium. You have to pay each month and they can get expensive. But tools such as Zoom and Google Meet and Microsoft Teams allow you to create webinars for free. Now, some of these softwares have limitations in the free version in terms of how many people you can have in the room. And sometimes there's a time limit as well if you're using the free version. Uh, but these are really good tools to help you to plan and organize webinars for free. And obviously, when you start generating an income, you might decide that you want to go premium with some of these. And lastly, a tool that everyone seems to be talking about at the moment is ChatGPT. It is a free AI tool and I kind of look at it as an assistant. You can ask it to help you to write product descriptions for your website. You can use it to help you with some of your SEO meta tags and you can use it to help you write blog articles as well and so many different other tasks that you might want it to perform. So I'm gonna leave all of the links to the free websites that I've mentioned in the description down below. So if there are any that you need to utilize, then they will be there for you to access. But I also have the formula, which is completely free as well. This is a free guide that I've written to help you to market your products and services online more effectively. So if you are a business owner or an entrepreneur or you just wanna learn more about marketing, then make sure you hop on over to my website. I'll leave a link somewhere on this screen as well and go and download that completely free. If you found this video useful and you want to see more of my content, please do follow me here on YouTube. I'll leave links also to my social media as well in the description down below. So make sure you follow me on TikTok or Instagram or LinkedIn or wherever you spend your time online. But I really do hope that this video brought you value. If it did, please click the like button down below. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.